vou deixar meu álbum escapar Se o mapa que uso não presta Mais vale quem mal o esquece Voltar eu a verdar Uso estas mãos que a terra me deu Vou a correr Tão de passar como o pé E o bater neste meu coração Em sucesso até mesmo a pior explosão tua voz chama lá de onde tu estás Não posso ficar a perder o meu tempo Tenho mas é de avançar Ready, go! Oh, please, trust me! Angel, you murderer! Wow, Isabelle, how many times must I say that I have nothing to do with Foxy's death? It was K49 who did her in. And where is that defected monster? He will die as well. You, you are too late. K49 is dead. I'm sorry. What? Wait, he's dead. What happened? He used and abused the energy of his power until he reached the point of no return. He's dead? Oh no, I see. A balloon explodes with too much air, which is practically what happened to K49s. Ness created him in a hurry, so it's obvious that he was an incomplete product. After all, he was destined for self-destruction. Stop talking like K49 is an object, perra! I find your lack of judgment disturbing, so you might want to keep your voice down. Angel, tell us at least, who is doing all this? Who is recruiting the remaining agents of nests? Why did you kidnap Kula? And what's the big deal about this place? You... you do realize that I'm here to kill you guys. Why should I stupidly give away information so you guys can trust me out? Mamma mia! Because I know you're not brave enough to fight all of us by yourself. Therefore, you have us at a disadvantage. So why not give us some info? What harm could it do? And here I thought you were a dumb brute. Okay, so you are right. I did not come up here all alone. I have some beers back up. And alright, unlike the professor, I don't like to leave people in ignorance. Professor? What professor? First of all, that story about the creature that Amakusa sealed is true. Nests have found the creature that was sealed from Orb and study it from this very island. They collected many impressive data from the creature. The one man who keeps the collected data so far from the creature was Ignis himself. Ignis? That is correct. How do you think that Ignis managed to control so easily all the data he collected from so many fighters from around the globe? It was all thanks to the little power he harnesses from the creature itself. Little power? Are you telling me that someone as crazy as Ignis didn't yank all that energy from the orb? For sure. The creature sealed inside the orb is practically asleep. Waking it up would be most dangerous for everyone, including Ignis. Especially after reading the journals that Amakusa left behind. So Ignis had no choice but to collect his minimal power from the creature itself without awakening it. So, if Nests used this island as a study ground, that means that the creature is here as well. No. 
After our disastrous defeat in the last KOF, the professor decided to go to the island and use the order's power for our purposes. Who is the professor that you keep mentioning? It is Professor Jones. Professor Jones? I don't believe it. Oh no! You know him? Well, who is he? He's one of the many scientists that developed the clone projects, as well as the projects of inserting the Kusanagi blood in the test subjects. So you're saying that this professor is... Correct. He was the one who used you, Kula, K49s and many others in his experimentations. But I did not believe that he was alive after the end of the last KOF. He was suffering from a deadly illness and he would not live much longer. Well, surprise, surprise, surprise. He is alive. All due to the marvels, the scientific technology of cloning. He transmitted his brainwave to the one clone we had without a mind. <gasps> you mean the Rugo clone? Bingo! Another point for the Perra! Thanks to that process, the professor gained all the power that the original Rugal had very easily. It's like the resurrection of Rugal. Hadrian is not going to like this. But that is impossible! Not even Ness could do that, transmit a person's mind to a body of a clone. At least for what I know. You keep forgetting, Diana. Even though you were one of their high-ranking agents, there were dozens of things that you didn't know. Especially if they were kept in secret by orders of Ignis. Even so, the Rugal clone is an incomplete product, all due to the lack of the most essential DNA. All the molecules of the clone will fade away, which will lead to the clone itself, to the path of self-destruction. That is the reason why we kidnapped Kula in the first place. The professor is draining her ice power little by little to freeze those very molecules. Drain her? That SOB is gonna kill her! Relax. It will be a little. For now. Only after a few years, Kula will die because of the energy drain. She will be an empty skeleton after her use is done. Now, can you smell what the Angel is cooking? No. But I can tell you what the Beast of Prey will be cooking in a few seconds! Whoa! Easy there, partner! We found out for the moment that Kula is alive and well. Which is reassuring. But there's one question here. Why have you guys been attacking the strongest fighters all over the world? I mean, it's obvious that you want to collect data. The question is why? Because the professor wants to unleash the creature from his prison. What? Is he crazy? The professor wants to harness the power from the alien, but unlike Ignis, he wants to harness it all in one, instead of little by little. So, to collect all the alien's power, we need to free it first. That fool, he cannot do that! The reason why Ignis only collected so little of the alien is because he was afraid of him. If a powerful sorcerer like Amazuka could barely stand against the creature, what makes the professor believe he can achieve his goal? It is the only way. So, to collect the energy of an alien, he wants to free it to the world with the false illusion that he can achieve success? That is the same as bringing Orochi back! Oh man! First a godlike dude, then clones, now aliens? What's next? Vampires? <sighs> yeah. What happened to the good old days when bad guys were just crime bosses? The time for talk is over. Why don't you tell who's ever with you to come on out? I'm ready to fight. Well, well, you are always in a rush. That makes you so intelligent. What? I still have the one info that you need in order to save Kula. What? That your hideout is in Thailand? <laughs> what? How, how, how do you know that? Here we go again. You people just keep on underestimating the resources of the Ikari team. I believe that the time for talk is finally over.